you can see there is no oil floating on top. As soon as I didn't remove that oil from the chicken, by now you will see oil floating on top, including the red oil. I beg my people, make wanna try to reduce excess oil in your soup. Some people after cooking their soup, you see oil floating on top. Papa, it's not healthy. Okay. This smoked hot chicken is the best for you to use and cook your soup because during the smoking process, it must have gotten rid of the excess fat. But if you don't have this, then follow this process. Hi gorgeous people, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I usually prep my chicken, how I usually get rid of those excess fat that is in the chicken before using it to cook soup. I usually do this when I'm using the chicken to cook soup. Mind you, this is Ganila, the native chicken, the hard chicken. There is usually all those tiny feathers on the chicken so i usually just roast them and um the leg i usually roast the tip because they don't remove that outer skin so i usually roast it then remove it can you see what i'm doing just peel it off before i will now start washing it properly so at this point i'm using salt to wash it i usually use um vinegar bicarbonate of soda or aceto <laughs> i don't know what aceto is in english mm -hmm. if you know let me know in the comment section if you understand the italian language so these are the things i usually use to wash my meats even chicken so anyone where i just get i will just use them so in this video you all can see i used yeah so, i think that is what i have basically available in the house i poured water into the pot and i made sure it covered the chicken and place it on the fire so I'll let it boil for about five minutes so this process is just to get rid of the excess oil in the chicken. The chicken usually get uh, usually comes with so much fat, as in the fat in the chicken is too much. So sometimes when you use it just like so, it spoils the taste of your soup. And not only that, it's not even healthy. It makes the soup too oily and unhealthy for you. So what I usually do is just to cook it like so. As you all can see, you can see the oil floating on top so what i will do now is just to go ahead and sieve out this water yeah sieve out both the water and the oil before i will now start cooking the soup properly with the chicken yeah some of you will be like you're yeah, removing the taste of the chicken what really prop fits you to eat all the taste of the chicken and eat something that is unhealthy for you tomorrow you start suffering from high cholesterol level prevention they say is better than cure don't wait till you get to that point where doctors will be telling you don't eat this don't eat that a lot of people you see out there are functioning just because they are on medication they take drugs daily and once they stop taking those drugs they will stop functioning that's the true reality of a lot of people so don't wait till you get to that point where you get to you know start living with drugs start taking um drugs for cholesterol drug for high bp and all that just do what you can do to keep yourself fit and healthy at all times. So that's why I'm sharing this. I have another method I use to get rid of the excess fats in chicken, meat, before finally using it to cook. I'll be sharing that in another video. So after washing it and removing all the fats, I spiced it and then put in the necessary meat I'll be using and then start cooking it properly. You can see there is no oil floating on top. I think I didn't remove that oil from the chicken. By now you will see oil floating on top, including the red oil. I beg my people, make wanna try to reduce excess oil in your soup. Some people after cooking their soup will see oil floating on top. Papa, it's not healthy. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. My soup is ready. Can you see that? Oh, I guess the soup I just made at the comment section. And please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share this video. Bye, guys.